in three, two. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the kind of new inaugural-ish. We are revamping and reintroducing the, the WDW Park Hoppers podcast. Yes. So if you're watching, that's great. But Hi. if you're listening, uh, maybe we're getting some new listeners. Uh, thank you so much. My name is Park Hopper John. And I am his lovely wife, Park Hopper Sid. And you can find us over at WDWParkHoppers.com. That's our website. You can see all of our uh, articles, our show archives as well. Uh, and so as we're doing this, we're, mm -hmm. we're doing, we're kind of revamping. We are revamping. We took about a month off. Uh, and we have always done this as a Facebook Live or YouTube Live event. Right. And as we talked about it and looked at what else was out there and looked at our lives, we really wanted to try to reach an audience that does podcasts right. and not the live stuff, not always having to have a video. And so we want to welcome any of the new listeners. And we also want to say thank you so much to our friends that have been with us through this whole journey and are jumping into this new page with us. Right, and we'll talk about some of those friends specifically in a little bit, but one of the things we also wanted to do was to really kind of focus on when you come to Walt Disney World, uh, we want to focus on you know how to come and enjoy the parks, mm -hmm. but we're a married couple who love each other very much, but we don't have kids, so that's well, kind of our have, perspective. We have well, four-legged children. Yeah, I'm not taking our kids to Disney because no. that would be very messy. That Although Blue, our, our, our bulldog pit bull mix, would probably be, they love him. He would do great. Yeah. He would, you know, he loves strangers. He practically, you know, he'll pull off his leash almost just to go meet somebody new. Yeah, absolutely. The other two just can't shut up. I mean, one's a beagle. What do you want? That, that is true. He's so, got that beagle bark. So. so we probably wouldn't take our kids. But we want to focus on enjoying the parks and the, the surrounding areas, the resorts, and especially Disney Springs, uh, you know, if you don't have kids. So let's talk about how uh, we've changed some things up and what you can expect uh, for future shows. Well, for the first thing, we are not doing this live stream anymore. So we used to go live and whatever happened, happened. You know, a dog barked, uh, a waiter dropped something when we were out and about, audio was awful, whatever it was, it just was what it was. Right. We are now recording. Correct. And with recording, we can stop and start. We can add sound effects in if we want to. Like this. <laughs> and, you know, we can edit things out as needed and edit other things in. And so we're hoping to give you a more polished and professional product but at the same time, it is still us. So don't set your expectations too high. That's right. Now, at the same time, we want to revamp what we've done, but we want to build upon what we've, what, we've off, what we've also created because we're going to still do live Facebook Lives and YouTube Lives. We're still going to do, uh, do a little live content out and about in the parks and in the resorts. But it's going to be more, uh, more of a bonus content, I would say. That's a nice way of putting it. It's going to be special events. It's going to be, hey, look at the revamped menu. Hey, right. look at this restaurant that just opened. <gasps> Do you want to come on a ride along? Right. Something like that. I think that we're going to, uh, I think the first one is probably going to wind up being the, uh, the uh, uh, Gideon's Bakehouse. It's Ooh. probably going to be the first one because that's going to be something special so uh so it's going to be more occasional and, um, and we're also going to do a little bit more variety yeah. of our disney content absolutely yeah you know, we've all been stuck inside for months some people have gotten out some people have gone to the parks we're actually holding off going on to the parks right now just because mainly my job i have to be very very careful and make sure i don't get sick so with everything that we're doing, we're going to give you some Disney content from home. Right. Maybe we'll pick a few Disney recipes and do a cooking show. Maybe we'll do some Disney cocktails. Like, that would be great. Like tonight. I'm not sure this counts as a Disney cocktail. You can get this bourbon on property, so you I'm just saying. You can get the bourbon on property, but the only mixing part was we added ice. Exactly. The other thing that we haven't done because we focus so much on WDW, Walt Disney World, is we haven't really gotten into the... The Disney Plus. We haven't got into a lot of the Disney movies, although we have talked about them. Marvel, Star Wars, mm -hmm. any of that. We haven't really dug into that. And I think that part of this podcast is going to be a more circumference of what Disney is. We're going to be talking about a little bit of everything here. Big word, right? Look at you, trying to use those big words. I, I learned some things. That's my thing. I drink bourbon, I smoke cigars, and I know things about Disney. There you go. That's what you I do. You should make a shirt. I should. <laughs> so we're going to be focusing on spending a lot of time, not only just uh, inside of Disney Plus, 
or at Disney Springs or at the Disney Resorts, but also in the parks. We haven't done a really great job of doing that, so we're going to up our game on that. Just a it's bit. those darn day jobs. Once, yeah, yeah. Once the once the <laughs> masks, uh, you know, once that kind of calms down a little bit and Disney allows us to get in a little bit more frequently, I think we'll be going to the parks a whole lot more often. Absolutely. Well, yeah. and also. With the ability to record now, and you know, hopefully we're not boring you by this point because we're only five minutes in. Yeah, buddy. Uh, with the ability to record, we can go on a weekend and we can do something and then give you that content on Friday. Right. Where when we were doing it live and it was a very set time on a Thursday afternoon, I'm rushing away from work. You know, Park Hopper John is he works from home. He's running out of the home office trying to put dogs in crates and beat the weather and that yet yeah, weather. Hi, we're in Florida. That's weather, true. Yeah. weather is fun. Yeah. So you know, it'll be nice to be, have a little more flexibility with that pre-recording. Absolutely. So the other thing we want to encourage you is to to figure out some different ways that you can you can watch, you can listen. We're always going to be doing stuff on Facebook. We're always going to be putting content out there, uh, as well as www.parkhoppers.com. But where are some other places that people can see us? Well, absolutely. So always Facebook. Yep. We're going to be putting these on YouTube. Yep. On Instagram. Yep. That'll make our buddy Jasmine super happy. Absolutely. Um, on And Jasmine is actually one of the people you mentioned earlier. Jasmine has been a friend of ours for a little over a year, became an instant fan and an instant friend. And, yeah. you know, she's one of those people that has helped us make the podcast better. Right. And so, um, and then we'll also have Stitcher. Yep. Stitcher. Right. Yeah. Spotify. Okay. iTunes. All right. All right, that's seven. If that's, you can't find us with seven that's places, right. yeah, you know, I think it, that's seven. No. Yeah, and if I can jump in for just one second. Six but, places. I can't yeah, count, but can't you can't either. see me counting on my fingers unless <laughs> you're watching this. So. But the thing is, when we were doing the live show, a lot of the times, you know, the, the sound was so bad and the... You know, we were we were reacting to a lot of things. It just what didn't make for a really good audio show. <laughs> you get distracted by every little kid that runs by Girl. and jump. Over hey, here. Hey. Hey, we're um, recording, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, so it just it just and it became a little bit of a challenge to, to put those shows out there. And trust me, we're not taking those old shows down. You can go back and listen and go, yeah, Park Hopper John was right. He needed to listen to Park Hopper say it a whole lot earlier than this. Wow. It sounds like, you know, if anybody was actually listening right now and didn't know us, they would think that you have stuff to make up for. Um, and no, if they know us, they know it. you have stuff to make up for. I can't think of anything at this very moment. But the other big thing is, is we want to make sure that these shows are out on Friday because we want to prep you for the weekend. Absolutely. Uh, I do a show uh, on Monday nights and we put that show out on Wednesday, but this show is going to be something that we can put out and say, hey, this is happening this weekend or this is happening next weekend. And I, and I think that we didn't necessarily always do a great job and that was more me, I think, than you. Wow, uh, with he the other is podcast. really flattering me right now. Yeah, I do the best that I can. So that's kind of that. If you have a question, you can always shoot us an email at wdwparkhoppers at gmail.com. And uh, so that's kind of the housekeeping. That's a lot of housekeeping. We will not do that next time. No, uh, but we'll do a little bit of housekeeping. A little time. bit. But there is one big piece of housekeeping that we want to let you guys know, and that's our good friends that we actually owe a lot of today Mm -hmm. Two, and that's our good friends, Kristen and Aljon. How can you find them? Well, Kristen and Aljon are over at the Disney List. And the Disney List is another fantastic Disney podcast. And they are really just kind of breaking down Disney, Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Plus, everything Disney, and just sort of breaking it down in a here's your top 10, here's your top five uh, list manner. So, you know, if it's top movies to watch, food you can't miss, or even just you know, rides you should ride. Definitely go check them out at the Disney List. Absolutely. We love those guys. It's Disney, the Disney List dot com. I believe. I believe so. Yes. It's either the Disney List dot com or Disney List dot com. See, now here's the funny part. If we were live right now, it would pop in at the bottom of the screen and they'd tell us and we could correct ourselves. But we That's will true. do that in the show notes. Well, maybe it'll pop on the screen here. I can edit. I got you that. Can. I got skills. He does. What would be really bad is if you're listening to the audio and it's like, oh, the Disney List dot com. And there's this, this weird overlay of bad audio. No, I'm not going to do that. You're not going to do that. So, but if there was another sound effect you wanted to throw <laughs> in, this would be the time. So okay. <laughs> what are we going to do? We want to we give everybody something kind of fun. Let's kick off this very first official revamp well, of the podcast. You realize there were just a couple of other housekeeping things we wanted to throw in there. Oh, uh, okay. You want to do that now? 
Okay, no, we can wait no, till we the get, end. No, go ahead. I, I don't know. A double dog dare you. Go ahead. Double dog dare me. All right. So if you were listening for the first time, again, really sorry. Welcome to our world. I'm not. All right. Uh, but we do have a little setup with Amazon if you would like to support us. So, you know, we don't have we don't have sponsors. We don't have anything like that. We just ask that the listeners and this no money comes out of your pocket. Uh, we ask that the listeners would go to wdwparkhoppers.com slash Amazon. And that link takes you directly to Amazon. All of your widgets and your passwords and everything you have memorized are already there. Doesn't give us any information at all. It just tells Amazon that we sent you. And whatever you buy, they take a few cents out of their portion and send it over to us. That's right. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and then finally, the one thing we want to encourage you to do is come find us over at WDW Park Hoppers. Uh, you'll find, like I said, all of our articles and our, our uh, uh, show archives. Um, but we'll talk about that one more time at the end. So this is what I wanted to get to. I'm so excited about this. Uh, he, if you can't, if you're listening now and you're not watching, he is literally clapping his hands like he's uh, an excited schoolboy. So one of the things in the crayons just that came we, out. one of the things <laughs> that we do, <laughs> crayons. Uh, one of the things that we do I love is the smell of crayons. is we always try to have a date night each week. It doesn't always have to be fancy. Doesn't necessarily have to be out of the house, but, especially. But I'm wearing COVID. my fancy ears. She, it, you can't see it if you're not seeing there it. There are feathers on my Disney ears That's right. right now. That's another reason to come watch us on YouTube. And I put lipstick on for you. Yes, you look gorgeous, by the way. Wow, he is sucking up for something. So one of the things that we like something. to do is <laughs> I have a date night, and when we do a Disney date night. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we'll just go to one spot and just kind of camp out. But a lot of times we'll go to multiple places. And Disney Springs makes that much easier. Mm, Disney Springs, there's a couple other places around that make that very easy. That's true. So what we challenged ourselves with this week was to pick a perfect date night for each other. So I'm going to pick a perfect date night for Park Hopper Sid. Mm -hmm. She's going to pick a perfect date night for me. And, and the date nights don't have to be logistically simple no no there have been times where we would say what is your perfect date night at animal kingdom right no this is just if you could pick anything around disney property walt disney world property right what would the perfect date night be what what would you do and uh the thing is it's you know don't worry about traffic don't worry about all this stuff i i encourage you guys why don't you pick your perfect date night and leave us a comment Mm -hmm. And you tell us what your perfect date night would be. So uh, you want to start or you want me to start? I feel like I've been talking a lot. So why don't you All start? All right. I'm going to start. So my perfect date night for Park Hopper John. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that honestly we would, um, let's see. I think we would start at Wolfgang Puck mm. at Disney Springs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we would have a cocktail made by Joe, who's the bar manager there. <laughs> and probably an appetizer. They have an amazing uh, fresh mozzarella appetizer and mm. some other things that are just fantastic. It's pretty good. So we would start there. We'd have a lovely appetizer. Mm -hmm. Then we would magically be transported over to Epcot. And I would take you to Germany. <laughs> I would get you a big old stein of the grapefruit <laughs> beer. Yes. And meat buffet. If oh, you've yeah. never been to the German pavilion at Epcot and had their buffet... Okay. In, the, in the beer garden? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so, mm. you ready? Mm -hmm. Meat salad. Mm -hmm. It's literally what it's called. Yes. It's just a bunch of different sausages, some Italian dressing. There might be onion in there. I don't know, but it's pretty much meat salad. I'm sweating just thinking about it. Okay, so we'd go there, <laughs> and you get to sing along with the... Yes, he's doing the dance. You can't hear him, but the... Uh -huh. The Oompa Man. Uh -huh. Absolutely. So, we go there, and then... I think we would actually pop back over to Disney Springs hmm. and we I think we're going to have a bourbon and they have this amazing cake over at the Polite Pig. A little bourbon flight, a little dessert over at the pig, hmm. little wafting smells of, you know, bacon and pulled pork in the background. Helps with just, the digestion. Sit at their bar. That The bar is oh half God. inside, half outside. It's just lovely. Oh, it's great. So sit there, have some nice bourbon, enjoy the atmosphere of watching people walk by. At some point, I would excuse myself and pretend to go to the bathroom, and I would go and grab his surprise for later. But then 
we would pop in the car and we would head down the street for a final nightcap over at the Grand Destino. Oh. And there is a bar downstairs that makes the best uh, gin and tonic. Mm. They are so good. And you have a choice of gins and a choice of tonics. And they are just, and the bartenders are just fantastic. Yeah, that's it over is at the, the bar Barcelona Lounge. Lounge. That's right. So we'd hit yeah. that. At that point, we're about halfway home. Oh, girl. So we're going to head home. Are you getting goosebumps? I'm, I'm sweating thinking about it. I'm so excited. Um, we'd head home. <laughs> check on the dogs, you know, maybe get ready for bed. And then right before we go to bed, I would say, well, wait, 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 I have something for you. And I would pull out the Gideon's Bakehouse cookie <gasps> that I snuck away and got at Disney Springs. I'd put it in the microwave for about 25 seconds. That's all you need. And we'd each get a fork and a glass of cold milk. Mm. And then, That's excellent. And then we would go to bed and be happy. I'd sack, I'd be, I'd be out like there's, a light. there's a lot of food and a lot of liquor but if you've ever met us that's us i gotta say you Did know I put some thought you, on that? you know me you really know me i will give you a a solid 9.8 out of 10. Ooh, that's good okay that's, what if i add a foot rub right before you fall asleep does that get me a that's 10? a 12 out of 10 right all right there, easy. I, see <laughs> I, I'll, I'll take some of the lotion that we have from staying on disney resorts and i'll use that oh, yeah, so get it the makes wafting it of the disney okay yes, all right be honest everybody when you stayed at disney back before they put the the stuff on the wall and they made it where they they, they you, you could, have to pump yeah, it you have to pump it you you took all of the sample stuff with you didn't you you did admit it we've got bags of it if you want some, just let us know. Yeah, just let us know. Please don't show up on the doorstep because that'd mm -mm. be creepy. Email us, www.parkhoppers at gmail.com. There Let's you go. That. So for your date night, we're going to start off the evening over at Epcot. We're going to wander over to the Mexico Pavilion. <gasps> and we're going to go into our home away from whatever home, uh, La Cava del Tequila. Now, hey, tequila. Del. It's Del. I triple checked for tonight. I know you just don't pronounce the L. Chop. Top of Delta Key, though. Anyway, so I don't know, figure it out. Uh, so I'm we go to the, the Mexico Pavilion in the tequila bar. We'll go with that. And um, it's it's an amazing little hole-in-the-wall place. It's very, very small. Mm -hmm. So you have to get there early or you have to know somebody. And uh, it's it's got an incredible assortment of tequila and tequila drinks. Uh, you can also get... Uh, um, Neil Patrick Harris's favorite cocktail there as well. Uh, so we would we would go there and we would we would start out and have a nice margarita, maybe a, maybe a, maybe a a high end tequila flight. So after we do that, we would uh, maybe hop. Maybe a little like chips in their salsa. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. just checking. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That, then we I'm would paint the picture. Then we would then we would hop into the Magical Express or whatever, and we would drive over. And again, I would say we would go to Wolfgang Puck. All right. We are in agreements. We would have a, a nice cocktail and have appetizers. Oh wow. That's where our appetizers come from is Wolfgang. Okay. So Wolfgang's Appetizers, they, they have a happy hour, excuse me, it's called Social Hour, mm -hmm. that is really, really excellent. They have, uh, not only do we have the mozzarella, but they also, mozzarella, sorry, I flipped into Tony Castleman there for a second. Uh, but they also have <laughs> a calamari. Life. I'm your yeah, in-life That's life. true. They have a calamari there that is just exquisite. Oh, yeah. So we would go do that, and then I would take you to some place on property that you would never expect me to take you all right i've got about three in my head victorian alberts you're right i never would expect that we've never been there no but it's my date night and i don't really we would go and we would have a great time we would have all the wine that we want we would have an amazing three course five course however many course meal there uh, but i would i would probably ask them to not give us dessert and then we would go to Main Street USA okay. at the Magic Kingdom, mm -hmm. and we would go over and we would get a, a Mickey Mouse, uh, what do they call that, uh, a kitchen sink, <gasps> and we would sit on our favorite trash can with the kitchen sink, and we would watch the fireworks, Aww. assuming that they're back. And that's how we would end our perfect date night with fireworks at the Magic Kingdom. I did forget that there was supposed to be the nighttime show at Epcot, whatever it may be. Before yeah. we left Epcot and went back. 
that that's good. That's good. That's good. I would I would I would take that. So you like things that blow up in the sky. I do like things that blow up, and you're kind of a pyromaniac too. So that works out well. Good hey, for us. Hey, I'm honestly you're licensed. I'm licensed in one state. Yeah. It's not this one, so you're safe. How'd I do? You did awesome. Did I get I, out of I 10? Like How'd I do? 9.7. Oh, okay. All, All right. right. It's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Did I mention that I'm throwing in uh, a couple of bottles of horse soldier bourbon? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're getting at Wolfgang? <laughs> that's what we're... I don't know what we're going to do. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. But it doesn't have to be super expensive. It doesn't have to be crazy. Yeah. Uh, we could have easily said we're going to start the night at Wolfgang Puck, mm -hmm. have a nice cocktail, have a nice uh, appetizer, cruise on over to um, Paradiso Thirty Seven. Of course. Uh, back when they have their, when they have their full menu, it's even better. But we can go to the Boathouse. The Boathouse is an amazing place to go have you know a nice dinner. Well, and you can go and have a drink at the Boathouse. Right. You know. Uh, that was that was going to be my choice, other than Victorian Alberts, but I, I thought I'd shoot for the stars on that one. And honestly, I, I'm you know people always joke about you know is the person you're dating are they cheap or are they easy? And we kind of have one of each, mm -hmm. so I'm cheap and he's easy. Stop so, it! But uh, so I'm good. Like if you wanted to go on, you know, go through the food trucks at Disney Springs, yeah. I'd be ecstatic as long as yeah. I don't have to plan. Yeah. And I don't have to cook. Amen. Preach. I love to cook. Or do dishes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, that's a big one. So, yeah. So, we would love to know what is your ideal Disney date night? Yep. Yeah. You know, where would you start? What would be your favorite food? What would be your favorite show? You know, if we... Oh, if we were at Epcot and we could find something that was, you know, depending on the time of the year, like if you threw a candlelight processional in there or you threw... Um, Rocking, rocking to the eating, yeah. eat to the beat. To Thank the beat. you. Can you tell we haven't talked about Disney in a couple of weeks? <sighs> I'm gonna blame the bourbon. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So let us know what your date night would be, uh, or maybe you guys could go in if you guys are married, have a couple like this is hers, this is his. See which one's better. See which one you like. And here's a crazy thought: Why don't you go do it and uh, share some pictures on our Facebook over at facebook.com. Uh, forward slash WDW Park Hoppers. Uh, and I also want to encourage you, if you, uh, if you were thinking about doing a podcast, uh, we got some good friends who are helping us out over at the podcast uh, podcastmasterminds.com. Mm -hmm. uh, they're uh, some new guys who are putting together some uh, self-help uh, podcasts on how to get launched on your own podcast. Give that a whirl. Check those guys out. One of those guys is really handsome. Uh, I, you know, really? I can't, yeah, I you would say you so. Were so much cuter. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, so go check them out if you're thinking about doing a podcast like we're doing, and uh, come find us over at wdwparkhoppers.com. Is there anything else you want to add? Four parks, one world, and everything in between. No. Yep. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us again. I am Park Hopper Sid, and I am Park Hopper John, and we'll see you in the next show. Bye.